is the meaning of that? Answer me, what the hell is the meaning of that? What do you mean, boss? To hell is you know. To know what, sir? Oh, this? Yes, that. Ah. It was only necessary. How necessary? Look, who the hell employed in this market? You both, you did. Right. Who gave you the gas? You did, you did. Good. Now tell me who caught the shot in this outfit? No, of course, yeah. That's fine. Now why would you knock off a kid without letting me in? What date is today? Seventh, sir. Seventh of what? Seventh of December. Right. Exactly what you now. And I told you things about knocking off people, right? Yes, it was. Now how come you knock off this one without letting me in? It was, it was necessary. Tell me how necessary. He resisted. You know, he was trying to show himself. So we have to show him what he taught us, you know, how to... So I did. Yes, boss. I'll comply, sir. Good. Now let me see the handset. The boy's handset. Okay, sir. So he killed someone for, for a mere six thousand naira. He was trying to get away with his sister. So. Why did you knock him over the head? What? I've killed before. I've killed several, both old and young. And all of them was either taller or bigger than me. Uh, everyone is bigger and taller than you. Who would you shut up, my friend? This time, you insult me with such insults. I put the trigger between your legs. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Better be. Six thousand naira. Six thousand naira for a man's life. That's total disregard for life. I've killed several. And this time, I made sure that all my victims, or whatever that should call me to do that, was worth well over two million naira. Now look at. Just look at. For mere six thousand naira, he killed someone. <coughs> Assuming something went wrong and the police came in, or you were caught, you would have visited the hangman for just mere six thousand naira. <sighs> now listen. This is definitely for the last time. Even a madman's life. What must life is not much more than squeezing of the trigger. And let me tell you this. If you must pull the trigger on any person, make sure you consider these two reasons I'm going to give you now. One, you should make sure that what you're going after was worth well over two million naira. Secondly, you can only pull the trigger when the subject has his or her around a trigger pointed at you. That's the only time you can pull a trigger. Is that clear? Yes, boss. Is that clear? Yes, boss. Dick. Yes, boss. And whenever you come back from such assignment, let me know. Yes, boss. Now get out of the bag. Go to somewhere hidden. I'll bury all of them. Bury them in tact, including the bag. You mean we should bury them? Bury everything. Because it is now too hot to handle. This is murder. And it's got some publicity. Police in this town are looking for cheap heroes. And we can never be in a hurry to just give them all this good boy opportunity by communicating. Yes, yes. So do. Take them. Um, one more thing. Lest I forget. 
If you don't bury this in as I instructed, I'll bury you. He's dead. Now get out! Take this and move out from here. Ceremony. Oh, ceremony. Yesterday, my call to the bar. Oh, forgive me. I spent all day at the internet. Have you ever been serious in life? What do you mean, Chris? Can someone who is so serious live in this beautiful apartment, this beautiful house? Just look around. Eh? Go outside and see my good class. Do they strike to you as someone who lives a life of seriousness? Seriousness should not necessarily be measured with materialism. So, what is life if not what you grab? You can grab many things in life more than money. Like honor, power, and integrity. Let me tell you, please. You can't grab all those things without the basic ingredient, which is money. Marriage. We are the best students while in school. He dropped after secondary school. Then I went on. Today I'm a graduate, a lawyer. I got first class in law. Think about it. Think about it, brother. Bravo. But have you ever paused to think? Yes. Everything I think about is wearing my wig and winning cases in court. Then when I start, no one will take notice of certain barrister Chris. I'm a man. So, I mean, it has never occurred to you that without my money, you wouldn't have been trained. The money did not prove anything in my education. What are you talking about? I know every good thing I'm talking about. Okay, and this has a good mark of the umbrella gun. Mike, there was no distinction between our academic excellence back then in school. I have no doubt in mind that you are making first class in law or any other choosing course for that matter. But I've always told you that I don't want to waste five or six years in the university. One of them blows all of the money. I told you. Here I am today, about to join the bank one. Yes, make money with much respect. Let me tell you this. You are much behind me. You are much behind. It will take you ten good years at your peak performance to get to my level. And by then, I know I must have extended it to 20. I mean, I must have extended the gap to 20 year effort. 20 year effort? Now tell me, what does your life in practice like? Oh, sweat. Sweat? Sure, you can run and see this for yourself. Do you know my major? Your major? Yes, now I'll tell you. Criminal. Now, criminal is the coward. Who is in fear of facing the reality of upwards? Flowing the easy way out, killing innocent citizens! Because he lacks the door to complete. Chris, let me tell you, that's a mumbo jumbo found only in English masters. And Americans too. Let me tell you, maybe you don't know that. There are more criminals in America than any part of the globe put together. If only they could be sincere. I mean, I don't see any reason why they should top the list. There is always Judas in every twelve. Oh! Call me the Judas of the family. Yes! Call me the Judas of the family. That's the problem. Because you, I, and one make up the number. There's no Judas in every three. So you got to make it 12. Then what are we waiting for? Do it yourself a wife, let me get mad. Let's increase the number. Yeah, impossible, ain't you? Ah, save a bread, kiddo. Let me tell you this. Hmm? I've always told you that you would have become a lawyer if it wasn't for me. If it wasn't for my money. I truly become a lawyer because of you and not your money. Not my money? Yes, because I have got faculty scholarship. And mind you, mom paid my first year school fees with what dad left behind. Okay, so what happened to the money I sent to you? It's in tight! In tight, ma! In the CBS account, 255,259. What? Because I don't need your income to money, Mike. I don't need your money to become a lawyer because I know you'd have to become a lawyer if you did not choose crime. Okay, tell me, why did you become a lawyer? 
going to study psychology in criminal. I know when my brother joined the camp so that I could be able to break him out. So you think you can't do well without to stop me? <laughs> of course I'm going to stop you because I'm not going to live in the life where there's a criminal threat. Chris. And that was succeed on tight trying. Interesting. Oh. I keep always becoming interested. So what? Boy, see this very one and keep it this. And if he finds out. And so what? I bought it now. Uh, okay. And if he doesn't believe you. <laughs> Why wouldn't he believe me? Ah, 
Is he an Abala or what? Why would you believe me? Yeah. As if you don't know the man called Hippo. That thing, yeah, yeah, dig. Dig that thing. Forget to say the man get over brain. Brain the worry the man. Eh? But you see for this handset. Forget that. I don't see the man brain too much. This part that doesn't make the man a spirit or something like that. I can't just let a hard job go up in smoke like that. But I get conscious if you know get. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Count me out. Leave here. Good <laughs> one. As long as you keep your mouth shut, nothing will happen with you. You get? You know me. Nothing will happen. Barrister had put smiles on my face. You've made me proud. <laughs> but what of Mike? He's a first son. Chris, I never had Mike. Mom, I want to ask you something. What is it, son? Something has been bothering me. What is it? Mike referred to you as a whore. Are you actually a whore? to the bar without buying a drink. If I'm not here for serious matters, then let me out. You got a job yesterday. Congratulations. I told you I got a job. You don't want to shake me. Look, let me tell you. I've got my ears to the ground. And I have my eyes wide open. And the Ikitoni Chambers is not the most secret of all places in this town. Now, 
Look, I just stepped to my congratulations. was being the king of Underworld. The debate is whether the end justifies the means. <laughs> if the means is playing triggers on hard-working citizens, the end stinks. So what of opinion? I'm a liar. Oh, well, that's why you are consuming my hard end joke. No, 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 when I hear you grab a job in equal to 18 bars, I ask myself, what the hell would this big firm be having a little man like you in there, in your payroll for? You called me a little man? Oh, yes. yes. I'm sorry. So why is such me with it? Even if your senses of decency are working. Come with it, brother. The best to face reality. That is why I've chosen to apply the root of directness. Directness? To cash, of course. Because I wonder why people run around colleges, universities, studying money, digging not no degree to come. It's in my club, hippo. Hippo, 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 that's the name. I will be the king of the underworld, but I've got modesty. No. Some modesty. Hello, darling. Hmm. Are you out of your mind? Are you sad? Are you stupid? So like I said, the amazing thing is that they all fell, fell to, to, to even grow wise. Come on, feed Sigo. You are a loser. Admit it. <laughs> Very soon my medals will arrive. Medals? Oh, sure. And then why a big friend like that would have blocked him? Because I put this picture in my mind of you in a wig and gown, you know, jumping up and down in the law court trying to impress them. <laughs> I understand your plight, brother, but I got my sizes sold already. Well, oh no. Because sometimes even the church or magistrate will be stretching their necks trying to see you make your submissions. But after everything, they still don't see you. Don't bother yourself, brother. I tend to be hard, not seen. <laughs> well, it makes no difference. It makes no difference. It don't mean that a firm that will employ someone with such a myriad of disadvantages would have an S up their sleeve. Well, I can say this for you. Your speculations sound interesting. Oh, I'm an it I, I am an interesting person. So keep talking. Then I figured out that you must possess some excellent credentials that must have made you scale the hurdles where other giants fell to beat. Now you are talking, kid brother. And I said to myself, now that your kid brother is becoming an excellent attorney, why not strike up again and go into partnership? What partnership? <sighs> well, drink a champagne. Where this come from that I want that? So many drink.
what should be the meaning. Martins, sit down. I should be the one offering you a seat in my own house. Save that protocol. This is a serious times. This is definitely a different angle to your daily routine, Eunice. Um, Martin, if you are in my shoes, you must understand. Martin, my own son calls me a whore. Oh, not again. I thought we have overcome the essences of that radical. Listen, if it is Mike, I do not care. But right now, Chris has caught on. So Chris also calls you a whore? He doesn't get that far. But certainly implies it. All this because of you, Martins. Oh, but, but... Spare me, Martins. I think this relationship must put a stop. Meaning? Martin, listen. Chris, my son, is a lawyer. And if he feels his mother is a whore, we had the worst sections in court. Listen, Martin, you won't understand. Chris is a genius. He has labored and waited for this serious moment to mesmerize in court. I'm not about to be in his way. Uh, look. See, you don't have to carry this unwholesome cross on your shoulder alone. You did no wrong by being in this relationship. Did no wrong? Yes. This relationship started five years after the death of your husband. And three years after the death of my own wife. For better for worse, as a clause. Till death do us part. Martins! Yes. None of us is cheating on anyone. That's my son. Then what does he expect? Now look at yourself. Take a very good look at yourself with a life size mirror. If you are in doubt. How can such a lovely, succulent, young woman like you be left unattended to. Martins, I'm in my 50s. But look steady. Yes. <sighs> Relationships are natural, but sex is necessary. Martins! Yes. That's the fact. No one in his right senses would have allowed such a beautiful woman like you to stay gummed together while widowers like us sleep alone. Come on, talk to Chris. Let him understand that you've got flesh. Let him understand that you are in responsible hands. Uh, uh, Martins, I don't. I know only... Then, Come on, come on, baby. Come on, that's part of the fun. You are the most beautiful woman in this town. And such women does not stay alone. Your sons should know that. Uh, but my son, does, they don't understand it that way. Then, forget whatever they think. I should forget what Chris thinks? Martins. It is all well with you. All your children are in the United States. They don't want to witness any woman jumping into the bed made by their own mother. Enough! Enough! I wanted us to get married. You said no. Chris will not stand it. I wanted to relocate you. You refused. I don't want my children to misunderstand my intentions. Now let me ask you. Aren't you at times ashamed of this your so-called son's tag to you? Martins. Ashamed of my own children? Yes. Oh my God. How could someone like you give birth to not one, but two midgets? 
and yet you are proud to call them your children. Stop that! Next time you want to joke, pick some sanity. You slap me? Assignment tonight. Hmm? Assignment. Assignment. Yeah. Where boss? In a residence full of dollars. Oh, full of dollars. <laughs> you don't say that, boss. I'm never wrong. You can certainly say that again, my big boss. <laughs> Pick up the phone and answer the call. Sorry, sir. I don't want to answer it, sir. Are you dodging the creditor? Not me, sir. Then what? You know, I hate interruption when we are discussing business, because especially when we are planning for a hit. I don't like it. That's flattering. No, it's not, sir. There is sir, enough interruptions. Since you don't want to pick up the phone, let me help you answer the call. No, sir, I will get it. Then do it! Sir, let me go inside the room and answer this, my woman. If you leave this place, I'll post the brain open. Hey. Answer the damn phone! Uh, hello, 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 hello. Sir, it, it stops. Gab, you've got a new handset. No. Gab? It's just a present for my woman, sir. Now, what about you, Dick? Uh, uh, this is my phone, sir. Uh, this is my phone. Seems your woman doesn't dig you well enough. <laughs> Some people are just lucky. Uh, Gabe is one of them when it comes to women. <laughs> my boss. Oh, well, surely he is. <sighs> we'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow? tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Okay. You said they are all dollars. That's what I said. But I don't think they're in a hurry to change them. Tomorrow I said. Tomorrow. Alright. Thank you, folks. Tell me before your brother. Look at who is talking of humiliation. You! You directed me up before my brother like a baby. You forgot I'm that one. I know. Then why did you have to lift me up like that like a two-year baby? I am Hippo, the king of the jungle. Come on. Where did you leave your sense of decor? In my less happy days, you would have been resting in the grave by now. What? Oh. Oh, yes. No one plays such a deadly game on me and goes scot free. You did because I think a lot about you. When I remember the sweet things we do under the shit, my mom held back. But next time, there will be no safety net. I'm sorry, honey. Hmm? Please forgive me. I'm very, very sorry. It will never happen. Never. Be serious about that. I am, honey. No, don't. Don't stay like that. This is what you should do in the presence of people. Family. Yeah. I warned you about that handset. Which handset? Which handset? Dick, if you see that smolly of a ghost, notice what will happen. Hmm. You need not notice so. Man, you give yourself away completely. Ah! Game. See, Dick. Oh. I know, say, I really fuck up. Yeah. You understand? But I will speak and 
smart to cover up this. You know what I mean now? By using that babe as in giving me the answers. No, check out now. You believe that? If you believe that, you can believe anything. Come on. They did stop that always. Stop that always, I beg. So you mean I'm not starting from this? Eh? Um, let me tell you again. It was because of you. They was cancelled last night's job. If I will ask, there won't be any job tonight. <laughs> How do I know? On the door. Yes, sir. Dick, I remember. Mm. You see, Linda, supposed to pass night with us here. But you cannot bet on that. Just check inside the door. Come Ah, ah, come on, sir. Ah, come on. Why jump out of your skin? Aren't I supposed to visit you people again? Yeah, yes, boss. Come on, boss. He's not this early. As you can see, the Lord has done a great fast. Shh, fuck up. I pay for this dumb, so I don't go visit any time I want. Gave you people an instruction to bury the proceeds of that day of plunder. Didn't I? Didn't I? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, yes, sir. Then why keep the hands sent in pretense that a girlfriend gave you? <laughs> why answer me? Sir, uh, uh... I, I, didn't, I didn't take anything, Ms. Mahasel. I want to give, but you wouldn't listen to me. This is Mahasel, sir. This is Mahasel. This is I should believe you. Thank you, Now, clear this mess. Okay, and for information, tomorrow we'll be traveling to my countryside to call off your wife. So tell her to start the engine and warm it against tomorrow. Okay, boss. Like okay, sir. Criminals are everywhere. They are destroying our society. Stealing and killing is going on every day. I swear I will use the law to make them pay. What makes you think that your stronghold includes me? Ah, you're still my big brother. My big brother. I can tell you, like I said, you're still my big brother. You said respect to elders is the norm that you need to be watched by Western organizations. Sometimes I wonder if it's still our time to start this massacre. Well, for a minute, I'm refusing now. Well, I'm going to ask you to go very well and get here in 30 minutes. I'm late. I don't care. So, why don't we see our time? I don't see that wall. I'm a bastard. I don't want to see him. Chris, get your ass into that vehicle. Come over here immediately.
what you're running for I will catch you with the law secret place of abort. This is my country home. Your country home? 30 minutes away from the city. Oh, come off it, man. Why well, you did well to honor my invitation. Please say whatever you want to say. I'm a busy man. Please. Great. That makes the discussion more straightforward. Now follow me. Criminals are everywhere. They are destroying our society. Stealing and killing is going on every day. I swear I will use the law to make them pay because I stand for justice, I stand for truth. All I want to see is a free and better society. Near or far, I don't care who. Running for, I will catch you with the law. I stand for justice. I stand for truth. Dick. You see, I wasn't kidding the last time. About what? The partnership. What partnership? I did the stealing while you saved my ass in court. <laughs> you did the stealing and I saved your ass in court. <laughs> you see, somebody has fed you with this Eremos Gago. That law is all about lies. But that's what it is. Come off that high horse, brother. It's all garbage. You see, Chris, let me tell you this. I've been in court several times. Where the right guys got jailed and why the wrong guys got home discharged and acquitted. That's your slang, isn't it? Ignorance. Ignorance, brother. Listen, Chris, the world is not a perfect one. So, mistakes do happen. The God is not a jury or a set of prophets. Besides, the judge is not there when it happens, so he could make a mistake. You are not talking about mistakes. Because even the church, or magistrates, what do you call them? Sometimes even the innocent ones to the garage. They send them to the garage just because GMGs has changed us. GMGs? Oh. Oh yeah, are you doing the I'm a clicking man in it now? Oh. GMG means cannabis school. Oh that. Oh certainly. You see, the judges, they just sentence them. Most times they even sentence the innocent ones. Sentence them to jail. Which is very bad. What partnership are you talking about? No, what I'm talking about is. I'll find the law. Get to your court while you pull me out. Mike! Hippo! That's the Come off that! Hippo or whatever you call yourself. I'm, I'm not a judge yet. I'm just a lawyer. So I have no powers to set you free. Get that? But if you're my lawyer, your duty is to convince the court or jury to set me free. Oh, certainly. If you're working for equal training chambers, that means I've walked away, discharged, and acquitted. Point of correction. Now, who told you that equal training chambers meant for a larger chambers? Yes, in Greece, I've been in court 21 times and I watched them defend their clients. Each of them walked home. Ten of them were as guilty as Ken. How did you know that ten were guilty? Because I organized the rights. Jesus Christ. Chris, we are not talking about the several here. The subject matter here is partnership. You see, I could just walk out. The country we live in is rotten. People in power, including the governors, they're laundered the money. And when I custard overseas, they jump bars. 
but that is what I was trying to do. <laughs> Stop them. It's not funny. But it is. It is because you are not in the police force. You are not even in the SSO or VPF. Since being alive is enough for me to stop them. <laughs> I didn't need a gun. All I need is my wig. Listen, Chris. A lot of people have sworn to defend the constitution of this. I mean, this is their so called fatherland. But no sooner did they take a note than they betrayed the identity of this fatherland. So, in fact, beyond redemption. Chris, this is the dog chase. Only the fools get beaten. Chris, don't be a fool. Hello? Oh, okay, all right. No problem. Where? Oh, yeah, yeah. No problem, no problem. I'll do that. No, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, that's right. Yeah, thank you. You see, Chris, I have an appointment. We have to postpone this. But take this from me. Don't forget. There are no petrols in this country. You understand me? Don't be deceived by these public statements. Everybody feed us his own nest. I think I'll be leaving now. Yes, um, I'll get my driver to take you back. Well, take this with you. Barrister Chris on my swamp petrol that is ready to take the gauntlet. Get that into your head. See you next time. Please, take my words. It's my own time, man. Don't be a petrol, bro. You're still my kiddo. I stand for justice. I stand for truth. All I want to see is a free and better society. Near or far. I don't care who you are. No matter what you're running for. I will catch you with the law. I stand for justice. I stand for truth. All I want to see is a free and better society. Near or far, I don't care who you are. No matter what you're running for, I will catch you with the law. I stand for justice. I stand for truth. All I want to see is a free and better society near or far. Forget me. I take everything back. Martins, it is too late. Nothing is ever too late. Believe me, I was a desperate man trying to hold on to this relationship. Please. And you think the best way Going about all this is. Oh my God. Martins, truly you overstepped. Maybe I did. But believe me, it was all in good faith. I never really wanted you out of my life. Please. Who the hell is this? Chris, we are back. Martins? Yes, it's me. And who are you? He's a friend. A long time friend. A friend? Yes. A long time friend. How come you never mentioned him? Chris, it's. Oh. So, Mike, was right after all. No, my son. No, don't take it too far. Mom. I want this imposter out of this house. Oh, I charge you with trespassing. Listen, Chris. She might be your mother. Right. I mean, she is your mother. But believe me, and a woman too. She's got blood running in her veins. I should not mourn your your father forever. 
Oh. No! Spend it! Schoolboy manifesto. Lover boy. Oh, is it a lover man? Go on. Come on, I'm enjoying you. Chris, don't make just of this. I am a widower. Your mother a widow. We'll find ourselves a perfect relationship. And there is nothing. Get out of here. Now get out of here. I don't want to see you near my mother again. Come off it, Chris. You're only a boy. She's your mother. And you've got no right to dictate for her. So you think? All right. You just say she's a widow. Of course. Okay then. I will take over my father's position. I am representing my father now. And I have every right to tell her what to do. Now get out of this house. Get out! Get out! Stop it! You want to hit me? Get out of this house! And get lost in God, Diga. Wait for me. She's not in order to come back home. Mother? So? I thought she just a heart to you. To make you happy? It is. That undermines the importance of my mission here, which is partnership. How many times have I told you to go and drop into the lagoon? Unfortunately, Swimming is not part of my relationship. Then yeah, what do you want with me? Like I said, partnership. I have already said you're not getting it. I've never had no for an answer. What? This is one that you're going to take home with. Believe that, you believe everything. So you really think that I, Chris Onoma, we have her and defend a criminal like you in a legal court. You see, kid brother, you are busy studying the university. You don't know the hood that happens around here. Now tell me, what happens here? People in uniform steal. People in power steal as well. Steal what? Steal from the treasury. What you see them preach? On the pages of the newspaper and on the screen, they are mere charade. You know what they do? They get suckers like you, who? To the patriotic theory. Why they rap? They are so called motherland. This country to perspiring submission inside the mansions they called. Government houses. Who gave you all this? Who has been feeding you with all this social garbage? You know what, kid brother? I've been following them. I've been giving my ears to the ground. I've been hacking onto their content. Let me tell you. If you know what I know, 
would never cite the National Act. Send me the education there. As a lawyer, you need to be wary of your environment. You need to know everything around you. I'm giving you free education. Yes, the thought that none of your lecturers were able to teach you while you were in the university. We don't have a nation. We don't have a country. What we have is a very big reservoir where everybody strives to fetch the well till it gets dry. Have you ever heard of the word conscience? I'm sorry. Conscience is not in my dictionary. That's where you go wrong. Because I have got conscience for one. I and others like me, we are onto a social world to make sure that this nation goes to the right path. Kido, do you believe in utopia? Every patriotic should. You mean patriotism? Yeah, sure. Let me tell you. The word petrol does not exist any longer. It was only once one man called sick. He was a patriot, but he died with patriotism. Ever then, we've never had any other war. Um, let me ask you, what did you learn from the university? For one who dropped out, out of secondary school, he certainly should. You know what? I've been reading books, everything that comes my way, in fact, I spend most of my time, most of my private time in the library reading books. Not only that, I even go into computer and internet. I must admit you chose the right vices for time killings. And I believe you read all the wrong books. You know what? That's strictly a matter of opinion. I'm a liar. And I have the license to design the right from wrong. Not this time, brother. Believe me, your country stinks. It is only those who won't go their way. I will stay from them. Eventually get to the top. You don't know? Look around. Look around you. All the good people, all of them, have left the shores of this our nation. No, the people left are mere preachers, just mere preachers who make a living from this drift situation. They go about the mouth of the pulpit, preaching to people what they seem to hear, just because they want to empty their pockets. Like I said, there's poverty everywhere, poverty everywhere. That is why any pastor who preaches the death of any Person, the poor, gets the highest congregation. Mike, where did you learn all this? What did he say? Where did you learn all this? Oh, by keeping my ears to the ground. By hacking onto their conduits, by following them around. Because they neglect me. Because of my size. I hack onto their conduits. I get whatever thing I want. <laughs> you know, most times you sound complicated. Yes. And you know why? I've seen enough to be that way. See, that is why I tell you that you should stop imploring this your holier than do attitude if you want to make a living in this country. Otherwise, you become a soccer. What do you actually suggest? I suggest you cut your teeth, open your ears and your eyes, and get connected at any slightest opportunity. Once that is done, you shut the motherfucker dry. I tell you this. The devil will find in the most charitable advocates. So what? So what? Already the earth belongs to the devil. What you worry about is the heavens. I pity you. <laughs> Don't pity me. Sorry for yourself. Care for people like you who think they can change the image of this nation to a better world. Care for those who believe in Ethiopia that this crippling economic crunch 
who want a change for better. Sorry for your life! It's not funny. It is. Because I believed I had a first class brain for a lion. I got a first class in law. Oh, that's very unfortunate. He got a first class in ignorance. First class in ignorance? Yes, because the screen, the lecturers who teach you people carpet about the national flag and patriotism. Why they send their boss? Send them abroad to go and study everything about this country. They send their children to Europe, America, to master the winner takes all out of capitalism. Why you, you stay here just rotting away? As you mean you're right. You know what? Just do me a favor. Remove that word as I'm sure. Believe me. I'm always right. I wasn't believing me. Take my words. You'll be glad you did. On my way. Mommy is on her way back. Tell God you're using mom now. Oh, what's in the world? Let me play the good ball. Yes, try harder so that uh, you get me listening to all this year mumbles. Take my words. Don't leave any war. Take every bit of my words and the end of the better. Be sure you do that. I want to salvage this Good Laura. All right, thank you. I will catch you with the law. I stand for justice. I stand for truth. All I want to see is a free and better society. Near or far, I don't care who you are. No matter what you're running for, I will catch you with the law. I stand for justice. I stand for truth. You shouldn't be sitting there. Says who? Anyway, I guess it's not actually my head. You know, you could make a good magistrate. So, what can I do for you? I want to see your boss. Go to the reception if my boss are talking about his son, Ikotone. Nothing. I was actually directed to meet Barista Chris or not. So, what makes you think that your Barista Chris or is a giant? You mean, you are him? Barista Chris or no man? Can he cry for you by that man? No, except that. Uh, the man secretary out there didn't tell me he was directing me to a baby lawyer. Shut up! What you done? Are, are, are you nuts? This is a law firm, and there are countless number of charges one can walk himself into. So, watch your tongue! <laughs> matter. You know I've got a problem. I came here because you are highly recommended. Only for you to land me to a kid's office. Look, who told you I'm here for a comedy stuff? Mr. Budola, the man you mistakenly call a boy is the most qualified for your case. That little boy? He might be little but definitely not a boy. So, if I were you, I do rush back in and apologize before he changes his mind and decide not to handle your case. So please, I'm busy.
sorry. That's all right. If you're back to your senses, unless you can behave now. I'm Mr. Dan, Budola. I know. Then you must know that I'm in big shit. That will seem to tell me. I guess I have to tell you everything. If you want me to save your ass. Yes. I did it. Did what? But you said you knew why I'm here. Ah, not first round. Now tell me, what did you do? I murdered her. You're not going to get this money, and you end up going home with a broken neck. <sighs> Crafty dialogue, but that has not upgraded you from amateur ranks. Eh? Oh, you got go to. I should be complimenting you for that, but let me tell you, smart boy, and I am people, king of the jungle. And no one stays for me. Any person who does. That is the fastest way to the grave. Uh, actually, sir, I don't know. I, 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 I'm, Put I don't that know. wallet on your head. Put your hands as well. Gradually stand up and move. 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 If you make noise, I blow your throat. Did you hear me? I blow your throat. Move. 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 Please. Take it up if you feel you can convince the jury. This is a serious matter, Fred. Come off it. How do you expect me to put on my wig, walk into your courtroom, try to convince the jury that a man who is as guilty as can is as clean as a wisdom? Because when you do, you win another case. And behold, the fame grows in stature. And guess what? Your profile rises too. The law is meant to be played by the side of the innocent. But you studied criminal law, didn't you? Yes, sir, I did. That's why you're in Nico to HM. <laughs> Listen, I studied criminal law to defend the innocent. There's always two sides of the coin in any case. I want to be on the positive side. No, there is no positive lawyer besides one that convinces the jury. But I got conscious. I always want to defend the innocent. 
But it's unfortunate. We don't choose our clients. They do. They choose us. Hey! There are more than 46 liars in this chamber, smart ones. Please, find one and give him this criminal. Okay? Let me see him save that murderer from the hangman. And if the innocent one comes, then shift that to me. Do you really want to go find this profession? <laughs> That's why I spent six years molding myself. And if it betrays you, I kept my candle burning so that I would be able to make it first class. Good. And I did. Now let me educate you, my dear Grace. A smart lawyer is the one that saves a man already doomed for execution, life, long stretch. He pulls some smart stunts, fills the jury with some believable theories, and walks out with his client patting his back. But in case you don't know, the chairman deliberately and personally shifted this case on your table. And you got a chance. Either you stay or quit equal to any chamber. And if you ask me, I will ask you to take the bull by the horn. Because you'll be committing suicide if you dare fail this test case. Yeah. Can it be, huh? Call it whatever you like. Just get the job done. Give you the courage to steal from me. Chairman, I, I never knew you were the king of the jungle, sir. I'll tell you. You're fast, pretty damn fast. But let me tell you, that's not a compliment. I'll just pass with the wave of the hand. My boss, you've got guts. <laughs> what do you do, Johnny? You do? I mean, what's your racket? Yeah, I try. Uh, actually, I see uh, 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 whatever is carelessly kept. Was that how I kept my wallet? Carelessly? Johnny, you have to try another angle. You can just take like that. Ever keep for money? No, I, I have never had, had such opportunity. I mean, have you had the opportunity to steal or kill for money? No, I, 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 I have never had such opportunity. So if such opportunity is given to you, will you? I, of course, I will give. Many, many times I will do that. That's smart. That's pretty damn fast and smart. But let me tell you, before you get started, Johnny, you don't get smart with hippo. Is that understood? Yes, Chairman. Duke! Yes, my boss. Get him a place and prepare him. All right, boss. Let's give him the opportunity. Yes, boss. You go and care for money. Because he loves you. But you should understand that I'm a woman. That is what I've been telling you to let him understand. Uh, no, save it. You employ the worst kind of words to go about it. How many times will I say I am sorry? What kind of humiliations have I not passed through in order to atone for my sins? Serves you right. I, I thought we are trying to find a solution. And what do we do about it? Oh, 
let them know that you are in charge. In charge? Yes, as a mother who brought them up. How? Uh, you have to start learning that by spending the nights here. I mean, weekends. Martins. Martins, you started it again. Well, that is the most reasonable thing to do. And by the time you start doing it, they will begin to give you your respect. And perhaps it will help them to look for a woman to marry. After all, they have come of age, haven't they? I beg your pardon. I better go home to take care of Chris. Yourself over to the police. What? Yes, that's what you're going to do. Are you out of your mind? Watch your tongue. My mind and I are some person. Like this. How, how could you ever suggest that? Oh, because I have studied your case and your work is going to be hangman if you don't start my way. Are you aware the police have been looking for me for the past week? Yes, I'm aware. Exactly why you should never allow them to catch up with you. Walk straight to the police station, tell them you've been out of town. Came back and told that the police are interested in you. And you reported as a law about the citizen. That's all. Hmm. They would rather put handcuffs on me immediately. Before they would do that, tell them that you would like to call your lawyer. Then you call me. And? I'll take over. When do I do that? I mean going to the police. Immediately you walk out from this office. Now? Yes, now. Why now? Because you look respectable enough. I wouldn't trust your parents if you try something else. So, you look respectable. So, you go now. I hope to God you know what you're doing. What you're telling me, I want to give the present to the control chambers. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, good luck, Mr. Down. Yes. Are you old? Yes. Did any policeman compel you to do so? No. So, why did you want to the police? When I came back, my neighbor Mr. Igwe told me that police have severely checked on me. And? When I tried to find out from Mr. Igwe if he knew why. Did he? No. Go on. I opened my apartment door. Drop my travel bag and walk straight to the police. So, why you are doing all this? What exactly were you thinking about? I was performing my duties as a law abiding citizen. <laughs> Great. So, why you walk straight to the police station, subsequently the DPS office? Did you at any point in time feel afraid? No. Why? There was no reason to be afraid until they put cuffs on me. I had no reason to be afraid. Why? My lord, my learned colleague is derailing me. We are talking of a man who committed murder. A man who murdered his mistress in the cold blood. And the defendant is asking a relevant question, wasting the time of this honorable court just to buy time. In my considered opinion, the hangman is waiting impatiently to swing into action. Counsel, why don't you let me determine that? You may continue defense counsel. Thank you, my lord. My lord, the guilty they say is always afraid. Now, let's see the nerves of this prosecution counsel by assuming that this man standing before you is actually perpetrated this crime. Objection, my lord. 
A way of assumption is being violated. This pastor day here is as guilty as king, and it won't be to the interest of this honorable court to allow the defense counsel to lead this court astray. Counsel, you are overruled. Thank you, my lord. Now, let's assume that this man is as guilty as charged. Now, it will go on in history for the first time in this country that a man guilty of murder actually submitted himself for an arrest by walking straight to the police station. My lord, my client is free for any psychiatric examination. And if that is done, any psychiatric around the world we satisfy him, sir, because he's not under the place of alcohol either. It would amount another miracle for a man guilty of murder submitted himself to the police station. Oh yes, there are witnesses. And my learned colleague here trying to make this cause believe that my client actually beheaded his mistress. And have read cases as a law student. And have read, seen, and heard thousands of false witnesses around the globe. And my Lord, if our technology has improved, I would like to call the so-called witnesses to pass through a light detector. My Lord, my relationship with the Earth's affairs. I beg your pardon? I mean, being very close to the ground. Order! Yes, my lord. Because I'm very close to the ground, I can detect a liar. Even before he opened his or her mouth. Yes, my lord. You may not notice that. The so-called witnesses are very far from telling the truth. But if you don't mind, my lord, I would like to. Cross examine the so called witnesses now. Objection! Are you aware, counsel, that there are laid down procedures in this court? Very much aware, my lord. I am also aware of the giant legal jargon beyond the reasonable doubt. And besides, this man is standing in a timberlands and he will lose his life if found guilty. We are talking about human life here. It is my considered opinion that a few protocol could be breached just to make sure that we are sending the right candidates to the hangman. Then, my lord, <laughs> permit me to cross examine the so called witnesses now. Counsel, your plea is granted by the court. Thank you, my lord. My lord, the witnesses are not in court. So, we are adjourned until you represent them in court. The court wishes to rise. Court! Criminals are everywhere. Two hundred fifty thousand naira. That's cool money. Yes, now tell me, any casualties? None, boss. Not at all. Any comebacks? No, not at all. Not at all. Good. I need to hear. Two thousand. Woo! Go and enjoy yourself. Thank you, boss. Okay, sir. Bring this to my room. Two hundred and fifty thousand naira, and he's giving us fifty thousand naira. So, what's happened to the rest? Hey, Judas, God of robbery, are you out of your mind? Eh? Hey?
We brought 250,000 naira on top of this table. Uh -huh. And as I'm talking to you, the lion's share or the equal share of 250,000 naira is not 1,000 naira. From where I was coming from, 50-50 yes. is the order of the day. Hey. You're an idiot. As long as you remain in this frame, you do as the boss command. Did you hear that? Now let's go. No, please, to me. Get this straight. I'm not a small boy. Yeah. I'm going to walk my ass off. I can't take risk for that dwarf to grow fat. Now, now, tell me, what is he going to use the money for? His shoes are one quarter of what you are wearing. They sent him with his cloth. And I believe he eats one quarter of what you are eating.
I hope you're not what your name suggests. Not at all, boss. Punk is actually a nickname which stuck. Jack. Yes, my boss. Take him to your base and read him the rules in capital letter talks. Okay, sir. But before then, tell the people waiting for me in my city room that they should go. I don't want to see anybody now. Okay, my boss. Criminals are everywhere. They are destroying our society. Stealing and killing is going on every day. I swear I will use the law to make them pay because I stand for justice. a free and better society near or far I don't care who you are no matter what you're running for I will catch you with the law I stand for justice I stand for truth all I want to see is a free and better society don't worry about your sons, especially that radical, that crook that calls you a whore. Martin, I do not have any other son besides Christy. I mean the lawyer. Mike, the one that calls himself Hippo, I always despised from childhood. And uh, since I decided a word of Christ, Old mother, a whore. I don't know what it is. I will not take two chances. What if I finger him for the police? To what effect? To get him off my back. Off your back? But he has not come on to you. You never know. Um, save your breath, Martin. Save your breath and hold the fire. Mike is too smart for the police. Not when someone gives the police detailed information. Martin's come on. He has not come on to you. Why should you worry about him? I worry. Criminals are everywhere. You should worry. They are destroying our society. Stealing and killing. Going on every day, I swear I will use the law to make them pay because I stand for justice, I stand for truth. All I want to see is a free and better society, near or far.
who the hell is this? Another sweet pie. Another sweet pie? And who the hell is this gold? Oh, this is lovely. You called me a gold digger. Because yes. it is you and your entire family who are digging gold. You called me and my entire family gold digger? Yes. Jesus. You slapped me. Please, are you watching that? Please, please, no, no, no. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. Oh, Mama, you want to have to beat you up? Beat you up? Oh, this is, this is lovely. This is so lovely. This is crazy. This is, I can't believe this. Oh, thank you. You know what, Chris? I got a feast yesterday. I had a very serious feast. As usual, every time I'm not feasting. No, no, this one was a very different feast. Different kind of feast. Very, very different. Imagine two pretty giants of ladies fighting. I mean, trying to kill themselves. Fighting black and blue in my own house. Um, why should they do that? They were scrambling for my bed. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. What's amazing about that? Just look at me. Please take a very close look at me. Imagine two pretty giant ladies, sweet ladies, scrambling for my bed. Not even one person scrambling for my bed just because of money. Money? Oh, you see what I told you? You see, money is the seventh sense that controls the mind. Hippo, that's the name. Hippo. 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 Call me that name. Hippo. Hippo. through my heart as I watched. Why should such many inconsequential episodes freeze up your emotions? I was only 21 then. My miss all had girlfriend. They told me sweet things about sex. They said unprintable things. They told me it was the sweetest thing on that. They never exaggerated. Now I know I believe them. Well, it could equally be bothered most times. Only if that's hard enough. So? So, I continue to bear the pains of not having a girlfriend while other of my friends clatter on end. <laughs> hardly their fault. I hardly mine too. So, one day, one good day, I stole from mom. Ah, not a pretty idea if you ask me. You see, Chris, looking back, everybody turns toward his destiny. So, keep talking. So I went back to the brother, I made it all, and I paid twice the normal fee.
was how my first affair. See myself in a room with a woman. That was how it ended. Tough luck. You really think so? Yeah, what do you expect when he stole mom's money for sex? <laughs> but this time, I stole again. First, this time I had something really big. For what? Chris, you won't understand. As I lay down there, helplessly, and as I watched the girl walked out of me, I felt like killing her. But when I looked at myself and looked at her, I saw no match. Only if I had a goal. Well, the thought of a gun entered my head. One week later, yes, precisely seven days, I bought one. I bought a gun. You bought a gun at 21? Chris, this time I stole from mom. And I went to the same brother, met the same girl, Lucy. I invited her. This time around, I paid her five times the amount. Let me tell you something. Eh? You see, the last time my friend, my, I mean, my colleagues laughed jazzes out of me just because of the way he brought it out. And I wouldn't want to repeat the performance. Why, why are you here? Good and now. I, I have money here. Eh? I just want to touch you. Now, so I have, if you need money, I'll give you. So, where is the extra money? Extra money? Okay. I promise you. I'll give you. I still have money. <sighs> The other time, you cheated on me, so I want everything to stop now. What? Are you... Shh, go. Pull out of it. Please, just... Pull off. Pull off. Pull off. Pull that back. Please. Oh, shh. My first experience was with a gun in my hand. That's right. You call it that? <laughs> well, to me, it was paper. Paper? Sure. She let me first by walking away without keeping it to her side of the contract. Two of them make right. There's no way to sleep with a prostitute. I'm happy that you know. I would you. Hold you someone's <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <Please. laughs> You amuse me. What makes you think I will pay for it? You don't know anything about this girl called Lucy. Guy, I will fuck you. Oh. Now I know everything about you.
you kidnap? Yes, I don't really punch your standard. Jesus! <laughs> You're a devil. You see, kiddo, that very night, I found out the two important, in fact, the two most powerful things on earth. They are the corn and money. In fact, the corn, the almighty corn, is the most powerful of all. But I decided to build my empire around it. It won't get you anywhere, Mike. <laughs> is that what you think so? But I've not done bad. I've not really done bad at all. You won't be thinking like that by the time Nemesis catch up with you. Oh, but then I must have extended the gap. Two words that they can't be able to Believe catch up me, with me. me, Mike. You. That's them hippo. Believe me. Kiddo, that's hippo. Kiddo, let me tell you this. If course, quite a time court. If one seven straight cases, only you. I mean, you're grabbing all the headlines with your, with your mesmerizing submissions in court. That's my job. That's why I spent six years perfecting. That's my job. Fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic, really fantastic. But let me ask you, kiddo. How many of those your clients are innocent? You defend them every day in court. How many of them are innocent? Kiddo, tell me how many of them are innocent. You see, that's why I tell you the word patriotism doesn't exist. You forget about that. Read your word, just like mine. Aunt. Aunt. No, we are two of a kind. You are mistaken. No, we are both friends, you know. I don't know what they like, kids. That's my job. Fine. Your clients, how do they hire you? Tell you everything? Sure. The truth, including how they did it. Well, they tell me everything if they lost the hope of working as claim. So you actually know that you're defending criminals, right? And at the same time, serving their necks from the hangman and prison terms. Where do you belong? Don't you? No, tell me, don't you? Chris. You served us of strangers. I've watched you grow from strength to strength. Believe me, you are going to be the best lawyer this country has ever seen. Mm. That's my goal. <laughs> so, I ask you, if you serve strangers, why don't you serve the ass of your own brother? I mean, I've got the big money to spend. I've got the best brand for a big steal. Why shall you away from your responsibility? Tell me, why shy away from your responsibility? You see what guy? Come. Come, follow me. Come and pay me to my ward. Let's go. Yes, in here is my ward. The what? Yes. See this laptop. This laptop is connected to the internet. And anything I don't know about the internet, particularly the fraud angle. That thing's not what knowing. So you rob on the internet as well? Oh, that's my specialty. It's only my boss that knock a few years off on the local scene. Jesus. Come on, Chris. I've gone some cool stuff. Pounds, dollars. While frisking through credit cards and number accounts. Credit cards? Oh, come on, key brother. That's the in thing. That's the in thing, key brother. Let me tell you, you might be a smart ass lawyer inside the four walls of a country. But as I did, I still wise guys that have grabbed the ball of the white man for raping the ass of Mother Africa to perspiration during those days of slavery. Maybe you may not know. My hippo. Oh. All right, hippo. Yes, good. So what you're telling me is that you sit in your office and count up thousand dollars? The hundreds of thousands. Oh. This is unbelievable. Oh, but it's true. Well, if that is what you do besides killing, I would have team up with you straight away. And then let's forget about my killing business. I'm partner with me in this internet stuff. But you don't need me as it is. Oh, well, uh, it sounds simple. It sounds simple. But let me tell you something. You see the FBI? The CIA, Scotland Yard, M15, Green Parrot, and every other worldwide intelligence service in the global hemisphere are no sleeping. They are on our tracks. 
Let me tell you, brother, those people are good. Very, very good. They have fallen hundreds of thousands of spooks on the ground. But not your brother. They might be smart, but Hippo is always a step ahead. Ma, oh, Hippo is surprising. Yes, because they look down on my side. I never see me coming up. Ah, really? He can say that again. Let me take this case. You see, the international agencies have found Alice in EFCC. <laughs> EFCC? Yes, EFCC. They come banks. Now, money to the transfer and the arrival of monies at the tune of an inexcess of $10,000. <laughs> Bro, let me tell you, I don't want the white man to leave my money there or even to bank in their countries. No, I take my money home to help develop my community. Well, that sounds more like patriotism. No, shut that away. Shut that. I don't like that. I hate that more patriotism. There's nothing like patriotism in me. What I do is that when I see the poor masses that are suffering, I felt like grabbing some of the money our political leaders stored away in foreign accounts. And then when I bring them home, I try to use them to help my own people, the poor masses. That is the only way I can contribute my own quota as a man of honor. But let me tell you, maybe you may, you may not know this. You know what I mean by that? A true woman, the honor, right? You know, all those your times in the university studying law, they never taught you that. Learn that from me, Hippo, your brother. A man of honor? Of course, see. But let me tell you, not many people were born with the kind of brain we have. If what the kind of country I come from. If I had a chance, I would have buried myself in laboratories. Apparently, maybe by now, to become the popular uh, but Einstein. But let me tell you, what I have, I give. You hear that, Chris? It really amazed me. Oh, yeah. Because, like I told you, I needed a lawyer. A smart lawyer that will help me beat the EFCC. But I believe you are the best. Chris, you are the best. I need you. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, goodness. Okay, let me get you something. All right, what are you Jack, you'll do it tomorrow. I mean, next tomorrow night. All right, boss. For the first time, you're going on just simple assassination. That is very simple, my boss. Make sure there's no follow-ups. 
You can count on me, boss. Take that boy back with you. He'll cover your ass. You never know who will come along. I will do just that. Do it next tomorrow night. Sausage. Yes, my boss. EFCC to submit dossier of any importer within this country. Every importer? Every, yeah, that's what I mean. Every importer originating from this country. That's not possible. Because not every company would oblige. <coughs> that's the point. You see, let me tell you. All the companies are on the net. And no one that does not want to comply will advertise it. <coughs> Chris, it's a camp that no one is willing to take. And Hippo, your own brother, will not take one either. You sort it out then. Are you sure? We are not in court these days. What happened? Well, no problem, because I got many things in my mind. I see. So, did it give some space to consider my proposal? Well, Larita, your proposal is staggering and flattering. Why? Yes, believe me, this is Africa. And believe me, some people might flatter me for the fact that I'm a brilliant lawyer. Why do not kid myself because of my physical, you know, you know, you know what I mean? I don't understand. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is that it is excessively out of place for a girl of her features. To propose an effect to the mind of mine. Oh, come off this. But it's true. You know what I think? I think you're a plot. A plot? Yes, someone who wishes me to fail ever before I get started. But that's not true, and you know it. You have to convince me. Oh, come on. You see, you talk like this because we're a lawyer. Anybody who always tells lies will hardly recognize the truth when he hears it. Come on, Laurita, don't fool me. Don't throw yourself at me, expecting me to believe your motive is love. Come on, there are a thousand and one handsome men over there who deserve your beautiful features. Come on, do not take me like a sucker because I'm not one. I don't need thousand and one men. What I need is you. Oh, you're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing everybody. Look at us. You don't know how I feel, do you? Mm -hmm. Please. Hello? Hey, mom. Son? Yes, it's mommy. I forgot to tell you that you meet me at home tonight. All is well, son. Yes, I'm for the night video. The night video? Yes, son. We are having a night video in our church. And I'll be back Monday morning. Okay, mom. Monday morning? Yes, son. Monday morning. Oh, yes, 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 mom. Uh, I'll put in prayers, okay? Be a good boy. Okay, mom. Yes, mom. Thank you. Okay, I love you. Yes, I love you. I love you too. I love you too. Yeah. 
Mommy's going to my bed and that's in the in your ears now is my helicopter landing on your roof <laughs> martins make sure it is at the right roof <laughs> oh never made a mistake in my life yes i'll be waiting for you Tomorrow, Sunday night. Sunday night? Yeah. Anything you say, boss? Sunday night, then. always come out with a nice idea. So, let's hear it. Ah, no, make it move. Try to send the $50,000 in your domiciliary account. Use your correct notes. May that would be straight to EFCC itself. Exactly. Are you out of your mind, Chris? Just try and do an honest transaction, then let EFCC start digging. I'm just going to pick me up immediately. That's the idea. Chris. What if they don't follow your script? Then you call your lawyer. Don't you have my number? Come on, Chris. Come on! That's for a partnership. Whenever I call you to come and meet me by the news, go straight to the point. I mean, get it down to what's the thing with that, Chris. Don't yeah. stop to this this. I only want to take EFCC to go on a wild goose chase. A dick home. And now, why they will be after the $50,000? The remaining $2 million will be wired into 100 different names and into different accounts. But what if they throw them to me? Now we may handle the situation. Bear in mind that the initial $50,000 says more screen. And knowing that all that will be used in clearing your laundry charges. Chris, will I ever come out clean? Come on, that. <laughs> Don't you have faith in my ability again? <laughs> so why this sudden change of layers? Look, please, please, let me tell you the truth. It's just that I don't fancy this idea of being a guinea pig. Have a faith. You've got it all. You have everything. you got nothing to lose. It is my neck that is going to be on the good of time. Relax. Just with me on your back, you're going to come out clean. No problem. Come out clean like others. So, when am I wearing the first $50,000? Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. Yes. Then you call me when the EFCC puts cuffs on your wrists. So my boss.
Otemi. You say you would do anything for me just to prove your sincerity. Anything, just say it. That's interesting. For a start, I can say you're an excellent cook. The only truth in my mother, cooking well. Cooking well? Yes. That's nice. Um, <laughs> well, you don't think much about your mother, do you? I hate liars. You hate liars? <laughs> but you're, you're here willing to do anything for me. Because you've got class. Can't you see that? Because I've got class. Oh, wonderful. Oh, well, we shall see. I see you do anything for me. Just name anything and you see how to do it. Happy? Just that now. Can you crawl like a snake? Of course I will if you ask me. <laughs> you will if I ask you? Yes. Right. Um, can you die for somebody? Can, can you die for me? Oh, come on. Dying is understatement. Dying is an understatement. Yes. That's nice. That's wonderful. Interesting. Well, um, never mind. I actually wanted to annoy you with all those questions. Enjoy yourself. So, now? No, oh, funny things up right now. I can see the sincerity in you now. <laughs> Who are you and what do you want at this time of the night? Well, someone out there hates your guts. But I have not done any wrong to anyone. Are you sure? Yes! <laughs> well, it's a bit. You have to go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Save your tears, Chris. You see? I told you she was a war. You didn't believe me. Now see where it has landed her. Never say you like the dead! Sorry, right. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. But you got to get over our mom's demise. It's one week now. Very soon, yes, she will be putting those cuffs on me. And in your present state, you won't be able to live up to your expectation of saving my ass. So, no, we don't want that. Do we? Um, no money if you 
Oh my god, did you go that so I do for you? GPO. Yeah. You are supposed to be partners in progress. Certainly we are. So, this is nine days my mother was murdered in cold blood. And nothing has been done to suggest that partnership is in place. Oh, my boys are there. Your boys are not doing it. They are not doing it. Yeah. Because he's my own mother, not yours. Barista, you're overstepping. This is totally overstepping. Yes. Because if the killers are not found, I'm going to open up a can of worms so big to eat up every garden fabric in this station. Do I dictate a threat? It's a sentence. Okay, first of calm down, calm down, calm down. Let's you calm down yourself. Calm down yourself. Hello? standing there. Chris, you are in court, Mike. Pardon me, my law, if I apply any unprofessional um, words. Now, tell me of oh, how to court, why mom had to die. Mom was killed by no people. You're in people, of course. What are you talking about, Chris? 
Excuse me, Mr. Michael. I must tell you you're in a court of competent jurisdiction. And I will advise and watch your language. Now attend this court. You are supposed to be defending me of financial crimes. Not hang me for murder. One thing after the other. My lord, I call for a change of law. Yes, sir. Mr. Michael, why do you want a change of law? Because I can't believe any longer that this one is stable. <laughs> Smart one, Mike. But before I get to psychiatric, I'd like to bring this court that this man here is not just a foster, he's also a murderer. Murderer! Yes. He started killing from the age of 21. Yes, he made me believe. He told me terms. He made me believe. Yes. As a powerful orator he is. He always told me that this country is governed by crooks. And he told me that the word patriotism only exists in paper. Chris! My lord, can someone restrain this animal? He's our uh, mat. Yes, he's our mat. I think he killed him I did it. Well, before we get to that, he specializes in internet fraud. This man has almost two million dollars wired to come into this country. I have all the details. Uh, officer, can you revive that man? Mr. Michael, uh, are you up to it? Can we proceed? Oh, my lord, I'm okay. Proceed. You may proceed, counsel. Thank you, my lord. My lord, this man here has higher stocks and I'm going to key for him. He uses that as a small screen while writing Americans the value of their credit cards. Yes, he told me. He told me that including the police and lawyers, rep mother nation, to prosper submission. Like I said, he almost convinced me. But I didn't spend six years perfecting the ass of this profession for any fool to throw me off balance. Yes, I was laying my trap for him until, until he killed our own mother. <laughs> He killed our own mother. You can't believe it. You impostor. <laughs> you really think so? Officer, you can come in now. Somebody revive this man. These fainting spells are getting a bit. Uh, Mr. Michael, would you require the services of a medical personnel? You can. Yes, my lord. I am okay. We can proceed. I see. Counsel, we may proceed. Thank you, my lord. Chris, mom's death was a mistake. A mistake? Yes, I was only after Matt. Why? He was a widow. Her mom was a widow. She mourned that for five years. And he mourned his wife for three good years. What crime did they commit for sticking together? What crime? Oh, my lord. Please, this heartless animal here tried everything to convince me, but he could not. Because I believe in this nation. Then I believe there are petrols everywhere. I studied law to make sure that animals like him are thrown into where they belong. Yes, please, my lord. Let me your hand to rebuild this nation. United we stand in crime eradication. Please, my lord. Well, um, counsel, the court considers your plea, and your plea is taken. Uh, this case stands adjourned for extended year. The court wishes to rise. Court! A 
This is good. Thank you. We need men like you in this country. Right. Thank you very much. I'm impressed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sosa 